Well, if you're interested in learning more about locally sourced food and urban farming, then you might want to check out the 13th annual Good Food Festival. CBS 2's Lionel Moist dug in to the details with a local pastry chef, Paula Haney. This week, the 13th annual Good Food Festival and Conference at the UIC Pavilion. It's a celebration of the good food movement and also the importance of locally sourced and sustainable food. So excited to be joined by Chef Paula Haney, the owner of Who's Your Mama Pie? Best name ever for a company, first of all. Uh, and you're here with the preview of next week's festival and also to show us how to make one of your classic pies. So right. what are we making today and why is this festival so fun to go to? Well, um... I'll answer what we're making first. We're making an apple honey currant pie because it uses some of the things that I'm still getting from local farmers. And uh, the festival is amazing because you get to meet your farmers, you get to meet local chefs, you get to talk about how your food is grown, try some new things, and get a little preview of spring, which is why right is, around the corner. Why is it so important um, to be shopping locally and for us to be supporting our local farmers? Not only is it healthier for you because you're getting better quality food, but why is it so important to shop local? Well, for me, just in my own self-interest, it tastes better. And it is so much easier to make a pie with wonderful apples that were allowed to ripen on the tree and that have lots of flavor. Um, and also it's important to support our local farmers. I mean, if we want a diversity in the food we eat, um, if we want sustainable food, um, things that are grown responsibly, animals that are treated humanely. Sorry, I could go on and on. Um, <laughs> And, Just know, showing really and highlighting all of the benefits yes, exactly. of it. And that's a good thing that you can go on and on, right? All right, so why don't you show us how to make this pie? I've attempted to make an apple pie at home. No recipe. It's, it does not look <laughs> like this. Okay, so I'm happy to learn yes. this morning. So what are we doing here? We'll send you some recipes. Well, <laughs> first, um, my elves chopped some apples for me. Okay. And these are Granny Smith apples from Ellis Family Farms in Benton Harbor, Michigan. We get wonderful apples from them. And so those are just peeled and cored? Mm -hmm. Just peeled and cored and chopped. And then we're going to add some currants. Why currants in the apple pie? It just gives it a nice earthy flavor. Mm -hmm. um, everybody loves apple pie, and this just kind of adds um, a little bit of interesting notes to it. Can add a little bit of sugar, just a couple of tablespoons, but then we're going to add some honey. Wow, I would not have expected yeah, that. Yeah, we've got some uh, nice wildflower honey, and that's from Green Acres Farms in North Judson, Indiana. So you see what I'm getting at? We have all this wonderful, all these wonderful Stand local right ingredients. Stand in Chicago land. Yes, <laughs> we are so lucky in Chicago. We get great food from four different states: mm -hmm. Michigan, Wisconsin, Indiana. And so once you put that in there, are you going to start mixing it up? Mm -hmm. What do we do next? Uh, we're going to mix it up. We're going to add just a little bit of flour and a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of lemon juice. Okay. So don't tell everybody how easy this is. They won't come get my pie <laughs> right? anymore. Well, no, the thing is we know that it's not going to look like your finished product. I mean, you are the professional. But again, simple ingredients. And yes. this is something that you could do with your, with your friends or family as well. Uh, tell me about your business and how you got started in making pies. Just oh, a few sure. more seconds. Oh, sure, yeah. Um, I, well, I grew up making pie. For my family, apple pie is my dad's favorite thing in the whole world. Um, and I was a pastry chef for about 10 years, but I really just wanted to get back to that simple food. And I wanted to bake seasonally, and um, you know, I met a lot of the local farmers, mm. and I just super this excited about it's it. It's not even in the oven, and it already looks so good. So just a few more seconds left. We yes. will then put this inside the shell, and then That's how long right. would you bake this? Uh, you would bake this for about an hour. Pie takes some time, about an hour, 400 degrees, it's nice and golden brown on top, and the juices are nice and bubbly. And with a little TV magic, yes, this is what it would look like. Again, I'll send you a picture of mine, see <laughs> okay, if it comes good. out that yes. way. Chef Paula, thank you so much for joining us. Thank I am you. so excited about this. And again, a reminder, the 13th Annual Good Food Festival and Conference runs March 16th through the 18th at the UIC Forum. For tickets and more information, you can log on to goodfoodfestivals.com. We'll also put that link on our website, as well as links for Who's Your Mala Pie, just love saying that, <laughs> and the recipe uh, from what we made today from Pie Chef Paula. Thank you so much. Just log on to our website, cbschicago.com.